Hi there. We are here to get you going in a quick assessment event. Um, Hi there. We're here to get you on on a quick assessment. So first, I'm going to come over in the left hand navigation panel and click into assessments. If you have assessment items that you want to upload from another platform or an Excel spreadsheet, watch our help video. Uh, click up here and it gives you more advanced details on how to go into that. But what we're going to do is get going on sort of our quick start default assessment, which is how most of our clients get going. So I'm going to go down to the manage assessment tile. Uh, and when you first log in, you won't have anything in the top library. You will have uh, templates. So these are the available default assessments in the platform. And for today, we're going to look at the LCI Lifecycle Insights default assessment. So uh, I've already imported it, uh, but you'll, you're going to want to hit the import um, icon that you'll see on the right hand side. And when you import, then at the top, you will have a library that includes that new assessment. You're welcome to look through any of those templates, um, but this is a good jumping off place. Now, this comes over as a generic template that we're going to be able to customize to your company and processes uh, and standards. You can also then create events where you'll make it unique to individual clients. So this really is the baseline you know, strategies, standards, practices, and policies that you use across all of your clients. So first, I'm going to collapse all of the categories so you can take a look what's in our default assessment. So we have a category on hardware, business application, software, security, continuity, policy and procedure, strategic and regulatory compliance. If you wanted to delete a category, you didn't want you had a separate assessment, maybe for security, you could delete that category here. We have show properties where you can leave comments or revise the comments that we have in our defaults around what that category is like. And then you can dive into any of the categories to see the individual assessment items. Before we get on to the items, take note that you can always add a category uh, and define your own and items within it. But this typically is a good place to start for folks. So now I'm going to expand the hardware category and take a look at the, at the items we have in there. So you can see we have items around power management, workstations, servers, et cetera. And I could choose to expand all the items so I can really dig in and see what each of the items say. So here you can see we've got the red, yellow, green stoplight reporting uh, that will really help when you're going to print and present this to clients. And you can revise. So if I said, oh, existing UPS is at EOL and I wanted to use a different framework, I could, I could edit here and save that and it'll change it across all of my clients. Maybe I want to add a response. Maybe I have two um, ways we have satisfactory, uh, maybe no mission critical equipment. And I could save that since I have, um, I could also, if maybe that was acceptable risk, right? We have the blue category, which will allow you to say like, we're, we're noting this, but we're not going to in fact um, categorize it as needs attention, et cetera. So I'm going to delete that because I don't want to save that on my template. You'll always be warned on those types of things. But this is how you can revise your template. So you're going to want to go through, take a look if you decide, you don't have any items around spare device. Maybe this, um, in general, you don't want to question them on spare devices because you keep them for yourself. Um, and just that's part of your managed service agreement. You could delete that item, et cetera. If, as you're reviewing this template, you want to add an item, you have a couple choices. First, you could add an item from a template, meaning I want a yes, no item, a stoplight template, duplicate the item I've got, um, and any of these, so I'll add a yes, no item. That will add the red, green item. I can put my question here. I can type in no, not at this time. I can revise my answer choices, etc. cetera. Um, or, and I'll go ahead and I can save that item or delete it. Um, the other choice is if you have 
Um, if you want existing items, so if you have other items in your item bank, you wanted to duplicate one of these, you know, you wanted to grab one of these items from another category, you could go in and grab an existing item. But I'm going to assume that I, what I have, I like. Um, maybe I want to do some rearranging. So in layout view at the top, I can collapse these and maybe I want business application software to go after continuity. Uh, you can also rearrange the items within the category. So maybe I want workstations before power management, et cetera. Save that and we can move on our way. So that is how to set up the template that you're going to be able to use across all clients. Some folks want to print this out so they can really dive in and maybe take some notes on what they might want to do. So we allow you to download that to a Word doc. You can add a logo if you would like. And this will really get you a sense of what the full assessment would look like for your client. You can see I moved the workstations above power management, so it takes your changes immediately. And this really might be a good way uh, for you to get a sense of what you might want to change within the assessment, go through, cross out the items that you're not going to use, et cetera. But mo for most folks, this is a pretty good jumping off start. And then I'm going to go back into assessments. So your template is generic across all of your clients. Now I'm going to go into an individual, an individual event, which will count for the client that I've chosen in my dropdown picker. So I'm going to choose get well medical services, go into assessment events. I'm going to add a new event. So here I go find the template that I want to use. So LCI default assessment template. I'm going to perform it myself. And then I'm going to choose an assessment type. You can define these. These are strictly categories for tagging purposes. Um, so that if you have one assessment, maybe you do a really large assessment annually, and then you do others quarterly, you could call one your annual assessment, your quarterly assessment, et cetera. So again, check out our help video if you want to see all of those advanced features. I'm just going to use this as a baseline. Today's date is fine. So once I click on the event, it is now taking that template and making it into a particular event for this client so that I'm ready to score. So I can go in and start scoring. We have some workstations past end of life. Uh, and I wanna make a comment on this, on why this is a problem. So I'm gonna add a public comment here. This comment will print out on the summary form. So devices past end of life, put the business in jeopardy of downtime or breaches. And that way the client will see that when you present to them, so they'll understand the business pain that occurs when end of life is an issue. I'm going to keep scoring some items where it needs attention, satisfactory, et cetera. And maybe I come to storage and I want to add a response. So maybe this is um, uh, two more months on current storage contract. We'll revisit after expiration. And this could be a response that you're going to share across all your clients, but in fact, that's not the case. It could be you want this response to show up every time you do an assessment for Get Well Medical Services, or maybe I just want it for this particular event. I just want it for this event because I'm going to take action right after it. I'm going to call that acceptable risk or maybe needs attention. I'll say it needs attention because I know I'm going to need to do something with it, but it's not at risk yet in red because it is covered. So I'm going to add that response. It immediately pops up as an option. You can also see that there are different icons so that you can immediately determine, okay, this is for this particular assessment. So you continue scoring. As you score, you'll note the weighted scores on the side pop up as well as the overall category score. Once you've gone through and scored the entire event, uh, you can print this particular assessment event but I'm gonna go in and look at one that I've scored all the way. So let me go back to my events. I'm actually gonna change clients and grab an assessment that I've looked at before. And I'm gonna go in and grab this default assessment. 
one advantage of using the, the assessments over time is that we have the ability to show previous responses so you can really show improvement and also gauge where your client was before and where they are now. So you can see on this particular assessment, they previously were satisfactory and then it slowly slipped and now we are at risk which often happens with health type of things, right? As, as devices age out, they will go from being green to yellow to red and really bring up, you know, to top of mind to your client that it's time to address this particular issue. So when I go to download this particular assessment, there are three different um, reporting options. I'm gonna grab the assessment summary, which we find to be the most popular. Again, you can add your logo and download your report. So when I open my report, make that a little smaller, I can see that I get all of my categories along with a score on the right hand side. So this is the overall and how you've done categorically with an overall score. But as we scroll through the report, you can see the areas that are red really stand out. So that at risk business pain piece becomes very clear. One note, this is a Word doc. So if you find, oh wait, they don't have a Zizel firewall, I need to edit this and change that to other manufacturer, you can edit it right within here or you can always go back into the assessment itself. But if you catch something right before you're going to present, um, easy fix since it's a Word doc. So oftentimes, the first time you do an assessment with a client, you'll want to go through each piece. But really, once they're accustomed to how you work with them, you might want to jump right to the appendix where we categorize all of the at-risk items together, because this is really the business pain, right, that they need to address. So all the way at the end of the report, all the at-risk items gathered together, so you, along with this is where the public comments show up. So I'm going to stop there now that we've, so we have created our default template. We have given our first event and we've printed it out ready for presentation. The last piece I wanna show you in assessments for our quick start is assessment analytics for all customers. When you have done an assessment for all of your customers on the same assessment, you'll be able to line them up and see each item across all of your clients. So this is a great way. Um, this is a stack alignment assessment. So this is really row by row is some piece of technology that you, you know, have with your clients. You can see row by row, which you have more opportunity to sell into. And you can see column by column, which client might be at risk in terms of supportability, stability, security in general. So creative designs, that first client has a lot of needs attention at risk. So they would be a good client to go have your first business review with. So I hope all of this was helpful. Again, in assessments, we have a, a longer video to go through all of the bits and pieces and we're always happy to hop on a call with you. So hopefully um, this will get you going with your default assessment and I'll hop you into your first assessment. Thanks, good luck. Let us know if we can help. Bye-bye.